Hey guys, welcome back to some more Star Rail. Gonna continue the Penconi arc. Up till now, it's been fabulous, and we just met Firefly, and she is absolutely wonderful. And I will protect her with all my power that I have. So, like, yeah. Also, we met Sampo at the at the end, and it's kind of strange, but let's continue. Okay, so I'm just here, you know. Sampo just wanted to show us the adult, the adult fun. So. First of all, we're gonna add some stickers. Honestly, let's talk about Sampo. I don't know why he's here. I mean, he's one of the least favorite characters in the entire roster in this game. Or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I, I'm not fond of Luca or Arlong was his name. I have no idea, but yeah. Uh, point is that he's in the in the lower levels, and I'm not really fond of his character at all. But I don't know why he is here. Uh, we do know that he is a masked fool. Like it was teased uh, at the end of the Bellbog arc. And it's kind of interesting how his story would, you know, evolve over here. I mean, if Sampo is in Penaconi, then shit must be going down, right? Like big stuff. Because, you know, Sampo only appears when you're like, like uh, when, when you're terribly, terribly screwed up. Like you know, when Bellabog, when Bronya caught you, and you just you didn't need an, you needed an escape route, and Sampo just appeared like you know, he's here saving a day. So if he's here, I don't know, maybe something's terrible. But this sticker is actually pretty, pretty hot. I actually like Robin's character a lot, even though we haven't met her like apart from the, the early episodes, the early missions. Uh, he haven't seen much of Robin or Sunday or Gallagher, basically any of the family members. And it's mostly been, you know, I don't know, still the solo rider. It's like, yeah. The sticker, I don't know, man, I'm not really fond of this sticker stuff. Like, I'm just, uh, I usually just add random things just to get that 20 jades that they give you. And apart from that, like once you claim the award, it doesn't even notify you that you have new stickers unless you open the page. So there's that. Yeah, I'm not really fond of this entire gimmick. It's good, but I don't know, it could have been better. Could have been much, much better. But still, I can see where the charm comes from. Like, you know, when I was young, I had sticker books, like I had tons of sticker books and the the intent was like you know use your creativity use your mind to uh, create a scenario with stickers so like yeah i remember i had a spider-man sticker book and i uh, know i just you know put so many spider-man stickers and green goblin and venom and all it was insane i mean it would appeal to myself if i was like you know 10 years younger Oh no, not even 10 years younger, 15 years younger, like, I, like I'm, I'm 23 right now, like yeah, 15 years younger, definitely, then, then it would have appealed to me, like this entire minigame, right now, it's more like, just, I, just give me the jades, that I'm good enough, also give me the stickers for my waifus, because, uh, we need waifu stickers, I mean, I don't, I don't really care about any of the males, never a huge fan, like only, uh, a few males have attracted me in this game, as I mentioned, you know, in my previous videos, I think, uh, Welt was one, and who was the other one? Jepard, I think, uh, a bit, but not that much, so like, yeah, up till now, only Welt has actually attracted me in this game, so like, yeah, I'm still waiting for someone new to come, up till now, not really fond of Gallagher, I mean, I don't know, people simp, people basically simp for every new character, you know, just to get the the interactions on Twitter or YouTube or whatever, but I'm I'm blunt. I I don't really. I mean, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, screw it. So that's me. The, the artwork on the Trailways mission is actually pretty good, you know. And I love sparkles. Like yeah, I don't I don't really care. I mean, following. I'm mean, seeing that some sparkle hate here and there, but I don't really mind it. I I want sparkle. Like if I get her, it's good. If I don't, that's guaranteed for Akron, So it's good either way. But yeah, Sparkle would be a nice addition. Simply because I like her, you know, the artwork that she has. 
and or maybe she's support so she would work somewhere down the line uh, maybe a long time to reach the other side on foot how about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine pinball machine she's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet this could get dangerous dangerous miss firefly we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family how could it be dangerous this is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Okay. We got a pinball machine. You know, whenever I hear pinball, I always remember of that. The game that I used to play uh, in computer labs when I went to school. It's like, yeah, you know, the, those early Windows games, right? That had pinball over there. I was like this sci-fi like space adventure type thing and it was the fun it was the most fun game that I played when I was young I mean I wasn't really fond of Minesweeper because I didn't understand the mechanics and after I found out that you know you could uh, modify the values of Minesweeper to like get an instant win like not an instant win but you could get reduce the number of bombs so the grid almost always cleared on one click uh, it, it just made it just made the whole experience fun although like yeah I, I basically cheated but still bingo our destination is right there peppy papeshi salon okay i like the fact that it echoed like you know it had that vocal effect of echoing see this is why i hate sampo i mean he talks too much but then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Yeah, not really fond. All right, uh, apparently these little kids are adults. Somehow, the uh, the species that they have, like the the childlike species, but they're proper adults. Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore, but could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal, the cloud of doubt, and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Okay. Talk to him. We got something strange. Oh, no, the first one reminds me of, you know, a, a blood rose. Something that, you know... <laughs> Arlecchino would have. I don't know, I'm just imagining I get creative when I see red and grey or red and black or something like that. Arlecchino is the first thing that pops in my mind. 
Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? Haha! <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This vibe machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape! It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. <laughs> of course, it's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, uh, I'll do it myself. I can touch the suspicious TV. It's more often than it reminds me of Power Rangers. Interesting. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? This is messed up. This is messed up. Good swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. I like how Firefly is always supportive of us. You know, she cares about us so much. I don't know if it's real care or something, but yeah, I really like that fact. And I like her models, like I'm really hoping she becomes playable someday, one day, I don't know. I'm ready to, you know, get her. The day she's announced, I will skip everyone, like in the second batch, even if it's a new character, I don't, I don't care. But yeah, because I want Firefly. I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, and this, this is what happens in Star Rail when you don't have the... What should I say? The blessing of an open world game like Genshin has. So like you, got, you gotta get creative with stuff. And with creativity, you create some random bullshit. And it, it, it works. Like in the setting, it works. And I imagine if this is in Genshin, it would completely like feel very awkward because it just doesn't fit with the whole, you know, the atmosphere of the game. That game is more of a medieval type game, like medieval era set, fantasy type, and here you can just go batshit crazy and it still works. I mean, like, look, I have I have a blind woman in a Chinese dress that controls ice, uh, con transforming herself into a mutt, into a walkable mutt. I don't know what you want to call that. I'm just gonna call it a mutt. <laughs> it's a honey. I have no idea, but yeah. So like, yeah, the the setting of this allows the game to like you know go crazy. It was with the Ron May event. It was with the the ghost event. 
the pokemon event and i know many stuff and penacony is like you know the land of the dreams so they, they they have an additional advantage of you know going crazy with stuff it's amazing like the creativity that they put in that they have put into this game is actually pretty amazing okay i'm going to collect all these chests these are the things that i play for honestly the chests the chests and the story and some random gameplay stuff like this but yeah most of it i don't play for the you know the big numbers the optimization the meta combat or whatever i don't know i mean ever since i was young i never really played that way i just wanted to have fun so that that's how i just grew up having fun and that's what i tell everyone you know who whoever plays the game you just have fun with it first if the meta comes later the optimization the best teams the best guides they all come later first of all are you having fun if so then progress because there's no point in like you know forcing yourself to play like if you feel tired just leave the game for a while spoiled my plan again and taken the treasure i worked so hard to snatch away from other people fine all it admitted you rescued dreamville once again but You just wait. I'll be back. And he lets out a cool grunt. <laughs> And uh, the, the, the memes, uh, Star Rail is for the memes. The memes are pretty amazing. In Genshin, there's no meme. Like the content is more stuff, more of a fantasy nature. Like you know, they have serious stuff going on, or it's it's not crazy like Star Rail. I think that's what appeals the younger generation right now, you know, crazy stuff, memes and all because they grew up with memes. When I grew up, I had, you know, Drake and Josh, I call you know the the elite comedy stuff. Yeah. Things people won't enjoy today. Are you all right? Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Yeah, I don't know what sample is all about, but let's continue. Okay, so I figured out about the dancing NPCs and also like the set actions in Penacony. and only the npc design changes from time to time but they they still keep on doing this like the npc that was dancing sometimes they were blue clothes sometimes they were white clothes so yeah the npc design keeps on changing but their actions remain the same so it gives you a sense of you know like the city is lively like there are different people out there but honestly it's it's just still the same model the same npc doing one thing Well, I see like I like Penacony that it's filled with people compared to you know the Cienjo and Bellabog. I mean Bellabog has that vibe but Cienjo just sucks. Doctor Ed at your service. Ah, <gasps> trail blazer of the Astral Express. Here we are again. Huh? Actually, you've got two friends with you. Well, they seem like fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. Doctor Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscapes? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. Um. What's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With the relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Exactly. Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time. <gasps> And wish you could just go back to dreaming it, right? A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, 
I admire your eagerness. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Your location is a pleasure. The retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready! Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead against the camera. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Ugh, where's this? Is this... The clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible, possible. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream. Within a dream. You know, this man's teaching us Inception. Dream within a dream. Great Space. movie, honestly. Another Christopher note? Nolan is an amazing director. Become the Garbage King. Oh. I've heard, like, you know, rumors, rumors about the Garbage oh, King in Bellabog. Anything can feel familiar. Stop yeah. So, yeah, Christopher Nolan. Details. Pretty great Trust director. Me. Inception was amazing. Don't get frightened by what you say. And I recently saw his Oppenheimer. Pretty a class movie. It's one of my favorite movies from the la from the last year. Maybe along with you know Across the Spider Verse. I barely saw any movies last year. So like, yeah, they're the only few ones that I saw. <laughs> I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Or something like that. Ha! Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Just accept it. I'm confused. Yeah, you know what I was talking about, you know? Batshit crazy. 
This is what Star Rail can do. They can make trash cans talk. They took a meme from Bellabog and then they just enforced it into, you know, a playable concept in Penacony. So that's one thing. That that's the advantage that Star Rail has. They can use uh, memes that we have in today's world and apply them. Now, if you take Genshin, I don't know how they would translate that because you know the the, the nature of the game is quite different compared to Star Rail. And I'm talking over them because honestly, I cannot understand the language, and I'm pretty sure that's just some gibberish that they're speaking. Or maybe if it's a language, I have no idea. If it's a language, do tell me. But I'm pretty sure that's gibberish. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is necessary for the progression of the story. So, we do what we do. Honestly, it's kind of fun. Like, initially, it looks kind of funny, but when you look back on it, you just see the stupidity that it has. And, uh, I don't know. Alright, this trash can hits hard. It's super hard, I don't know why. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Oh, my, my teams have been just like there's not much change right now with what I play. Good times. But time to say bye. I switched out Jing Liu for Black Swan and you know go in a hillity build. Ron May and Natasha are still there. Relax. Ron May surprisingly works pretty well with Black Swan and Oh, what should I say Kafka? Because you know that break effect increase is much beneficial, especially for Penacony where the majority of the enemies have Electric weakness or you know wind weakness. Now I haven't seen any quantum weakness enemies up till now, like you know the the mob enemies that you have. So I don't know, maybe Sparkle has a different role. I read somewhere that she increases the amount of you know skill points that you can use. So we're gonna have to see how that plays out. That's why I hate these true stings. They're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. They're the enemies made specifically for, you know, Dawn Hung in Bible Lune. And it just sucks because the majority of the characters can't deal shit to them. And your only options are, you know, having quantum users like Ching Cha, Zile, or I don't know, Solo Wolf and all, but yeah. At the time of release, that when they came out, we didn't have, you know, uh, yeah. uh, who should I say, Shui uh, and Doctor Asia and all like these new characters. So at the time, they just left a very bad impression on me, especially because I refused to pull for Don Hung in Bible of Lune. I mean, I don't care if he's a great DPS and all. I really don't care. I just, I just want, I just want characters that I like, and he was someone that I did not like. あの、ことこもく。そのとこもにか。もなんか。うそもこかき。もこのまとこまかか。もこか。の。もこもこれか。もこもこ。おこまかい。まさばらが。おとそこも。おもことととこも。Honestly, this is one of the dumbest missions that I've ever played. Seriously, it's it's pretty dumb. Ah,なるだ。もうよ。もうよはどうなのか。とろとろはのティーサートンカカ。どういうこれ？おけじ。誰だと？誰だただば？誰だと？誰だただば？ノノガイ。ノノガイ。タニマニカ。
コパパドヨネイレギマオドカノモカイシコノノカイラハラコガラピカ I finally collected three proofs of trust Let's go back and deliver them イロロモモタタシタケロカカンマシチチ I defeat, defeat the garbage king. Right now, just, just reading the thing is. Is this where the final battle will take place? Yeah, like look at that. Sure this is actually one of the most underutilized and most useless area that they were that they ever introduced in the game. This is like I even completely forgot about it until this moment. Like I just remembered it when this mission started that this is an actual area. But yeah, pretty underutilized and pretty forgettable. What kind of nonsense is this? 